Hi, I'm Carolyn, and this video is about Mercury in Cancer. Woo! I love my Cancer sign. I'm a Cancer sun. And, um, yeah, when Mercury is in Cancer, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit like a fish out of water, but it's not really a fish out of water because Mercury is definitely not a fish. Might be like a fairy, like in water, like a, a drowning fairy. <laughs> But seriously, that, that's kind of how it is when Mercury is in the water signs. Because Mercury is your thoughts, your speech, your communication, and it's also your reasoning, your logic. So it doesn't really like to be in water signs because they are so emotional. And they are subjective. Emotions are subjective. Memories are subjective. But one thing about Mercury and Cancer is you will never forget anything. <laughs> cancer has an impeccable memory. And when Mercury is in Cancer, it's exacerbated even more so, where you literally remember everything. Which is not always a good thing. Sometimes you just want to forget. But most of the time it is a good thing that you've got such a sharp memory. Like I mentioned, I mean, your Mercury, your thought process, how you speak, it's in Cancer, the sign of moodiness, the sign of emotionalness, the sign of nurturing. And you want to connect with people on an emotional level when you're con conversating with them. You do have the ability to kind of see the undertones, the emotional undertones. You don't always have to speak words. You can read between the lines. That's the thing about the water signs, especially Cancer and Scorpio. When Mercury is in, you know, one of the water signs like Cancer, very emotionally intelligent, and in fact, that is where you really do thrive, is, is when you're talking about feelings, you're talking about human things, real problems in your life, not just some abstract, intellectual, academic crap. It can be tough because you can project sometimes. When you have Mercury and Cancer, you can project your feelings onto other people when you're talking with them. So please be aware of that. One thing though about Mercury and Cancer is very witty and funny because they can make people laugh because when they tell a story, it's, they tell it from an, an emotional point of view. Or basically that's how they think about anything at all is how they feel about things. That's how they talk about it. And the really good thing about that is humans remember stories. They remember how things make them feel, which is why they have such a good memory if your Mercury is in Cancer. So you can really, really connect with people on a deep level and really make an impact if you have this placement. I would just, you know, be be aware that sometimes you can be a little bit overdramatic. You can take things a little bit too personally and sometimes you can form an opinion that's extremely emotional and subjective and then just be very dogmatic about that opinion because you feel that you're in the right because if it hurts people then it, it can't be right. But it's not that it hurts people, it's really that it just hurts you. Sometimes there's more to the story. So you always need to keep your eyes open, keep your heart open and just keep swimming. <laughs> if you're a Mercury in Cancer, like this video or don't or just leave a comment and let me know what you think. I know a few people including some very close to me that have this placement and I love them so much. In fact one of the people that I'm talking about that has this placement was a star public speaker. She went to state her first time going out. She joined the speech team in high school. First year went to state. Won. And yes, it's my sister, and yes, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> uh, but anyway, much love to you guys. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you for Mercury in Leah.